monsoon has already arrived and it has started creating numerous problems. Today we are going to talk about one of them that is petrol getting mixed with water. So what is the solution for that? Let's find out. My bike started giving jerk and this happens when either your bike has reached to a reserved fuel or if water has entered the carburetor. There are two ways water can enter your fuel tank. If you have this fuel tank cover then there are 95% chances that water cannot enter your tank unless there is any leakage in the cover or if there is any kind of external structural damage to your tank. So in my case it doesn't seem to be there. Even if the water entered through this gap it does not enter the tank directly. Every tank is designed in such a way that the water gets collected around the opening of the filling area and it has a small wall which protects it from getting spilled in fuel. This small hole helps in directing the water away from the fuel tank and if it is blocked by any means then there are chances that the collected water may spill into your fuel tank which is also not the reason in my case. So the only chance was that the petrol was already mixed with water. These things can happen in monsoon so try to switch to another fuel station and fill a little amount of petrol just to check whether everything is fine and then top up. Now what is the solution for this? The only solution is to drain out the fuel completely from the carburetor. You need to loosen the drain screw on the carburetor. Doing this the fuel from the carburetor gets drained out from the pipe. But my screw was little bit rusty and too tight so I have to try an alternate method. Second method is to take out the fuel directly from the fuel cock. You have to pull the pipe back and then the fuel starts dripping from the area which you can collect. Turn the knob to the on position if you have more than reserved fuel or else turn it to reserve. However, remember that it's a temporary process. So you have to drain your carburetor to get the water completely out of it. If you have trouble reaching your hand you can remove the side panel and then remove the pipe. I have successfully removed the pipe and now I am going to turn the knob. So now you can see the fuel has started dripping. Let me show you from where the fuel is exactly dripping. Make sure you are doing this process near the petrol station so that you don't need to push your bike till the petrol pump. This was the petrol which was at the bottom of my tank and you can see that the color is faint. While the one at the top seems to be fine but I am not going to take the risk of putting it back so instead of wasting it I am going to keep it for cleaning purpose. So that's it for today hope you liked it. Do share me your feedback in the comment section below if you have any better solution. Thank you for watching.